Are you experiencing Android emulator freezes? Well, they are very annoying. So it can cause you to doubt your own code and your home button may not work, your minimizing button may not work, your back button may not work, and you might have compiled a package, installed it on your physical device and found absolutely no problem. Well, this is what's happened uh, to me. I had this great tutorial plan for the game loop. I've got a nice little graphic here, but uh, everything's frozen. So. There are a few things you can try that I'm going to show you. Uh, you might have to do them in a different order. One of them might work. You might not have to take all these steps. But uh, yeah, first thing you can do is close your emulator. Quit your emulator. Go into Android Studio and check for updates. It could be that you need updates. Look at that. I've got I've got some updates. So I'm going to hit update now, and I think I'll have to pause the video and come back. Well, it looks like that update's finished. We've not been asked for a restart. Well, turning things off and on again can help. So that's another thing you can do. You can go to Android Studio, quit Android Studio, and start it again. Now, that, that might work if you run your virtual device. Another thing you can do, you can go into your virtual device, pick out the virtual device that you're using, and just wipe the data. That will set your virtual device to factory settings. Another thing you might like to do is go into your build and clean the project. The IT guy in me might say, let's do one more restart. So quit Android Studio and open it again. And you can run your application as you usually do. Highlight your package and hit run. Well, let's test our application. Didn't work. Didn't work. Um, what, what can we do? Well, I'm going to try one last go at uh, taking the vi device virtual manager, wiping the data, and run that again. So, back to factory resets. Yeah, that looks like a better restart. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was obviously some issue with the restart. You can see you've got control of your app back. You can minimize it, maximize it, minimize it again, go back in, use the home button, find it minimized, go back in, use the back button, and uh, yeah, minimized again, and you can swipe to the right to close it. That's great. You might have to do all those things I've just shown you more than once or twice. There's another error you might be getting, and if you're using a physical device to test your code, you may have come across the unfortunately your app has stopped working prompt and it's very frustrating. One thing you can do is imagine this is our physical device. Just go into the settings, scroll down to apps, find the Droid 101 app or whichever app you're developing. Uh, stop it, clear the cache. And that usually I've seen stops the unfortunately your app has stopped errors. So let's run the application. There it is. Do I dare test the buttons again? Ha <laughs> ha, it's worked great. And you've got the uh, minimized Droid 101 and you've got the minimized settings. That's it. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. <laughs>